With a new year comes new expectations on everyone and everything, with the gaming industry being one that gets a lot of that focus. But rightfully so. We have been waiting for some of these games until their potential 2019 release date, where others have a brand new, a fresh year to start pumping updates into their titles. Now, Wilson is at the top of my list of games that need to take advantage of this new year and make some considerable progress if they're looking to retain that community and their validity. So I've put together a list of my top five things, not many, just five, that Wilson actually needs to accomplish in order to remain a contender in this ARPG world. So my name's Vulcan, and let's get into my top five. Now before we get started, I'm going to exempt the release date, as that's something we all want and would obviously be an expectation, it'd be something that would be revolutionary in terms of the Wilson development, but we're going to exempt that one for now. So let's jump in. Number one, more story added, guys. We need more story, including Act 2, which we've been waiting for for a long time. And this includes more side quests, tasks, and overall storytelling. We need some more content to chew on and progress through the game. Grim Dawn and Path of Exile did a wonderful job of this during their development. Part of the only part of the game that I played uh, was their pre-development, and they continuously added content that the player could run through, experience, provide feedback. It is a good system. Where Wilson falls short is we've had the same Act 1 for a long time, and in having it been out there for so long, people who have supported the game they're either left with old content, they have left and went to other games, and outsiders looking in, there is seemingly no progression in the storyline. This also gives the impression that it's stagnated. Ushering out a new act or even some side quests would help build that world of Wilson, and it would be incredibly beneficial for both players and the studio. Remember, we are trying to re-establish trust and retain the community that's built up around Wilson. Having a game director for a little over a year, sorry, game writer, a little over a year with almost no progress to the lore makes little to no sense. So they need to push something out in order to keep the ball moving. Number two, finish implementing rough drafts of those passive trees, right? Here's something. You know, we've had those empty spots on the passive tree for quite a, quite a while, and once again, they need to take notes from the development of some of the bigger ARPGs out there, right? Bigger ARPGs, ones who have iterated upon their development updates. Giving players small, meaningful, bite-sized content is fine as long as you're looking for feedback and insight on how to adjust. Here's the thing, in 2019, we can't go another half year or even a quarter with those same passive trees that have been there since last summer. The game simply needs to evolve, it needs to show some life, and the reason we're running into issues here is that Wilson Studios is trying to push out large mammoth sized updates when they could focus on smaller like cougar sized updates and show that micro development which in turn shows they're still working on the game and it isn't vaporware. That's what we really need to see, we just need to see a heartbeat, we need to see a pulse. And right now I just don't think it's there. So. Let's get those passive trees in there, give people something to do, create builds, experiment, allow us to iterate with you, to provide that feedback. These passive trees work, these ones are underpowered, this one doesn't make sense, this one is a really good you know, concept, let's keep going on this. Allow us to help you. Get to 80% and put it out there. You don't need to spend the last 20% polishing up something that's going to be changed. It makes no sense, that's development 101. Let's move on to number three, guys, and that is merge that technical beta with the open alpha, right? We need to get the open beta out. And the technical beta, for what it was, was a mild success. I say mild because it showcased some new animations, abilities, enemies. It housed a hidden Easter egg, which was great. I thought, Wilson, that was fantastic what you guys did there. I really liked the little hidden Easter egg. And thank you, commenter, for uh, showing me it was out there because I had no idea. But we saw some new uniques as well. Uh, these were so, hmm, they were lackluster and they offered nothing very unique about them, but we'll talk about that later. Now, Wilson needs to expedite their lessons learned from the technical beta and get those changes implemented into their open beta that they have planned. Now, we don't have a release date for the open beta, we just know it's coming at some point in time. It's very much soon TM, but eventually it'll get out there. Now. 
If Wilson plans to withhold their open beta date, which they have been, right? They have an internal one, but nothing they're ready to talk about publicly, then they need to ensure it's for good reason and comes with lots of content to justify for that silence. And they have such long droughts between content updates that people often forget about the game and they have to start their marketing all over again. Now, I do understand this is an early access game. We have many examples though of early access games that provide frequent and meaningful updates to their games. And in this open beta, I would expect to see new zones, enemies, weapons, passive trees. We already know about their new game mode that we're gonna see, but also different ways to sink your time after you've reached the end of the story. For something that's taken this long to get out there, I would almost expect the full game to be available in just an open beta for that last round of bug squashing before this thing goes gold. That's my personal opinion. I would really like to see that in 2019 and just see a little bit of extra effort there. Number four, we just talked about it, and that's Uniques Reimagined. The ones that we had in technical beta, right? Unique items or purple items with a nice little gold border in the Wilson tech beta were so, they were boring. Um, outside of a few expectations or exceptions, like the shield, right? The shield was really cool. It allowed you to cast holy spells as a warrior. I know some people really didn't like it um, because it just seemed, well, boring. But I did like this one. It was subtle, but it was very powerful. You're able to cast holy spells as a warrior. Granted, there was only one, but that one dropped an AoE that allowed you to heal, it allowed you to get health back, and it also allowed you to withstand some very punishing blows, and it enabled you to create a Paladin-style build, which I thought was great. That is a good example of something subtle, but you can create an entire build around it. The rest of these things didn't really make much sense. These need to be game-changing. Uniques need to be something you can build around, not something that offers a slightly wider array of passive bonuses. And they mentioned this in the Q&A. They said, uniques need to fill a special void. It needs to be used by multiple playstyles, a variety of abilities, and it needs to be not just a one-stop shop for things and not a also not overly specific. So here's my thing. Wilson, go crazy, guys. Get out there. Have some fun. Try something just outrageous. Just start throwing things at the wall and see if it sticks, because here's the deal. If you look at games like Anthem, right? And I know I'm getting off kind of a different genre, but if you look at a game like Anthem, it doesn't have PvP because they want to go completely nuts with the loot. Now, we don't know how nuts that is because that game's not out yet, but that is the mindset you guys need to have. You know, you guys talk about PvP and that it'll be there at some point in time, but why not, during this time period, put things out there that are just crazy, off-the-wall ideas, and let us go out there and check and see, hey, are these things that make sense? Are these things that we need to see? Do they need to be toned down? Do they need to be toned up? And allow us to help you kind of level set. I want to see some unique, some gear that I'm excited to see, and not just because it's a purple beam but because I can really do something with that piece of equipment. Number five, this one is the most important one. The most important, an updated timeline. One that shows where you are going. One that shows deadlines. They can be loose, absolute loose deadlines, quarter one, quarter two. We just need to have some sort of picture of what the studio is doing. Communication is king, right? And here's the deal, guys. While this video, I mean, it focuses on Wilson, this is something that most game developers, even business, just in general, lots of people, lots of industries can learn from this. Communication is so important in all aspects of development. This includes things that they are thinking about. Wilson, what are you thinking about? What are the timelines that you have? Show off some concept art, show off some potential changes. So many issues can be mitigated by just having a conversation with the community of what you are working on. Wilson Studio, please update your Trello roadmap. Right now, the most recent update is from March 2018, and the update says, quote, this timeline is out of date. I'm going to be working on updating it, end quote. March 2018, that, that's 10 months ago. And having an accurate timeline is, you know, that's facing the public is a bonus, right? Not a lot of game development companies do that because that, you know, people can go out there, they can start extrapolating things, they can start assuming things and uh, thinking that, you know, oh, I see this, that means that's going to be whatever, and expectations get built. So it's a bonus and we appreciate it. However, it's not completely necessary. 
And I would say, just take it down. If you're not gonna be able to update it and keep it, you know, kind of where you guys are and keep it up to date for the public, right now it's just causing so much confusion. I'll head out there and, okay, well, let's see what we're working on. Well, these things are already implemented, but they said they're still in progress. This has been in planning stage since 2016. Does that mean, okay, does that mean it's still two years later, it's not done? And it really gives a bad image of your game. So please come out, just take that down and come out with just a simple roadmap. And I know I'm gonna get some interesting comments on this, but one thing that Destiny, Bungie, started doing after all of their communication stuff, and don't take this completely as gospel or don't follow this completely to a T, but they just put out a little roadmap. It's just a little, here's this, the quarter, here's these patches. Here's patch, you know, 1.0, I'll just use that as an example. 1.0, and here's what it's coming with. High review, very high review. New raid gear, new act, new story missions. And that way we can expect it, and it's just something that we can look forward to of, oh, during quarter one, patch 1.2, they're adding gear collections. That's so cool. I don't know what that is, but I'm so excited for it. And it allows me to kind of keep going. And I think that's really where you guys are falling short, where Wilson is falling short, is they're not necessarily communicating at all. There's no transparency. And when they do do a Q&A video, the video we get is very much a lot of um, well, we can't talk about that right now. We can't talk about that right now. We can, and it's like, well, why even answer those questions or bring that up? So what I would like to see from you guys, I'm sorry to be redundant, but this is just very important, is a very simple timeline. And that's it. So sorry if I sound like a broken record there. It was just, that's just something that I see a lot of people talk about. I see a lot of people complain about that they've followed Wilson for years and this is the same thing of just no transparency. So that is my number one, my biggest thing of 2019 I wanna start seeing. So those are my five expectations of Wilson in 2019, guys. What are yours? And if not Wilson, what game do you have 2019 expectations for and what are they? I'm curious to see, we got a brand new year, we got tons of stuff coming up, and I'm so excited. It's gonna be a stellar year for gaming. So let's get talking about it. And as always, guys, this has been Vulcan, and I will talk to you later.